doctors. These people that take care of you. Dr. Boutet's own YouTube marketing, featuring patients knocked out, buttocks are bared while they're under. In one, she's singing and cutting. Boutet's posters call her the number one female cosmetic surgeon in the Southeast. She's settled five malpractice cases in just the last six months. Four more are pending. She live streamed plastic surgery on TikTok, but now Dr. Roxy, whose real name is Catherine Grawi, has been permanently stripped of her license by the state medical board in Ohio. Failure to meet standard of care following evidence that she botched three surgeries. Listen closely. Time to rally go. We are of annoying patients to go. <laughs> Where to land? Nobody knows. That's the voice of a doctor, anesthesiologist Tiffany Ingham, before a routine colonoscopy at a Northern Virginia hospital in April 2013. Used his phone to record post-op instructions, but he says he did not press stop before he went under, unknowingly capturing Ingham's cringeworthy conversation. And really, after five minutes of talking to you in pre-op, I wanted to punch you in the face and man you up a little bit. He's putting his ID in, he's like, I always pass out when um, I look at the brain. Well, why are you looking, looking then, retard? Listen carefully, because few ever hear this. She's a painful. Secret recordings a patient says she made from the operating room. I was appalled, I was distraught, I was violated, thinking that I'm lying there naked after the surgery, and they have me still uncovered talking over my body like this. And listen to this. Precious, yes. This is precious over here. Saying hi to precious over there. She said some choice words to us in the clinic when we didn't book her case within two weeks. Really? Including, I'm going to call a lawyer and file a complaint. Okay. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like the thing to say to the person that's going to do your surgery. Authorities say the doctor prescribed. Choi was arraigned in Manhattan Supreme Court this afternoon on more than 230 charges, including two counts of manslaughter and reckless endangerment. The charges relate to 14 patients, including the three who died between 2013 and 2016. Authorities say two of them fatally overdosed within three days of receiving high dose prescriptions of oxycodone and Xanax from Choi. Now to a stunning new report, thousands of doctors across the country accused of patients under their care. The investigative team at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution has put together a first-of-its-kind list of more than 2,400 documented cases over 16 years. But wait, there's more. They want legal protection. So people just leave them alone while they take care of people. Representing healthcare workers have been pressing governors for legal protection for decisions made in crisis stricken emergency rooms. Do you want to see how much doctors care about you? Here, let them tell you.